Hey, everybody. Um, welcome to uh, number 10 on the chapter 9 and 10 quiz access. Again, I had a student just reach out and uh, ask me to go over this. So here I am. Um, again, I apologize for my microphone. It's not my normal setup, so it's a little tinny. Uh, I don't love it, but it'll get us through uh, walking through this problem. So this is number 10. Uh, it says to use the following information um, for the co separate companies A through D, and it wants us to compute times interest earned and then decide which one has the strongest ability to pay their interest. So, um, so the first thing we need to know is the formula for times interest earned. And that formula, which I'm sure you could find it in your book, but it is our income before interest and taxes divided by our interest expense. That's how we find our times interest earned. Um, and then you'll see that it doesn't give us the income before interest and taxes. Instead, it gives us net income, interest expense, and income tax. So we have to calculate um, the income before interest and taxes. And we do that just by taking the net income. So I'm, uh, I'm going to do company A here. Their net income is $161,000. I'm going to add their interest expense, which is 51 to 50, or 520. And then I'm going to add the income tax, 40,000 to 50. Oh, now it's being weird. There we go. So I get $252,770. So that is our income before interest and taxes. Why? Because it's our net income, which if you think about it, means our income after interest and taxes, plus our interest expense and tax expense added back in. So 252, whoops, what was it? 252,770. And then my interest expense, I can just take right here. So 51,520. So we would say company A has a times interest earned ratio of 4.91 times. Or in other words, their income before interest and taxes is 4.91 times greater than their interest expense. So now we'll just repeat the operation for the rest of them. So for company B, we're going to have net income of 155000 plus interest expense of 59128 plus income taxes of 56,016. So we have 270,144 as our income before interest and taxes. Divide that by our interest expense of 59,128. Do the same thing for C. We'll take 136,850 plus 35,581 plus 57,477. Gives us 229,908. And then we'll divide that by the interest expense of 35,581. Finally, we'll do D. 164,100 plus 8,205 plus 78,768. This is 251.073. And then it gives us an interest expense of 8205. So we can guess just by looking at it that D is going to have the biggest by far times interest earned ratio at 30.60 time, meaning their income before interest in taxes is um, 30 times their interest expense. So if we want, we can check it because it is easy with all that math to make an error. In fact, you can see it looks like I made one. So we'll go back to B. We'll try again, 155,600 plus 59,128 plus 56,016. 277.44. So Maybe some of you caught that along the way, saw my error. So 270.744. There we go. And then the second question is, who has the strongest ability to pay their interest expense? 
And the answer is the company that has the highest times interest earned ratio, because the amount of interest expense, right? There's two things, right? One is your income. Do you have enough income to pay your, your bills, your interest bills? And the second is how much is your interest expense? So their income is roughly close to everybody else's, but their interest expense is way lower. So that, uh, you know, in other words, to make this ratio bigger, we either have more income or less expense. And in either case, having more income or less expense is going to be put you in a better position to be able to actually pay your interest expense. So we'll come over here. We'll say company D. Check our work one more time just to make sure we're all good. That one looks good. That one all looks good. So I hope that was helpful to you. Um, I'd also ask uh, if you if you find these videos helpful, if you would uh, like or subscribe to my channel. Uh, that helps other people find this information better. Uh, I don't monetize this, so I'm not getting paid for these videos. Um, so, but I have heard from people even outside of of uh, BYUI who have found this very useful. So, the more people who like and share or comment the more the algorithm picks it up and makes it available to other people. So uh, if you want to, if you think it's helpful, like and share it, and I hope you have a great day.